Okay, I'd like to begin by saying thanks for purchasing one of my wood kits. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I think is the easiest way to put the cache together. Um, so I've got everything popped out, and um, we're going to start with parts one and two. And um, part one, if you notice, has a cutout at the top. That is going to just slip right on through there and through the top. And these receiving hole allows that to grab each other. Okay, so we're going to just set that aside for just a second um, and pull out <clears throat> parts three, which has the door on it. Parts four is the sidewall. Part five, and we're just aligning those notches. Part six, if you've got a flat surface to work with, um, you'll be way ahead here. So, part seven, and making sure the door is at the front of the floor assembly of part number seven. And we're going to just slip that in those receiving holes. Um, Part 8, um, we've got these receiving holes in the top, have to catch the receiver, the notches coming up out of parts, what is it, part 3 and part 6, and you just slide those in. Um, I also have some uh, super glue here, it's called 2P10, I like the thick stuff, there's a medium and there's a uh, a thin, I'd recommend staying away from the thin. Um, but any kind of wood glue or super glue that you can get a just a little tiny dot, uh, real small amount. Um, same thing with the other side of part A on this roof assembly, but we're going to just slip it into these, align those notches, and set it in there. And there we have it. Um, <clears throat> so once we got that assembled I'm going to just pinch everything together and we have these holes on the bottom side and some notches on the top of the leg assembly and we got to just align those up at this point if you wanted to put a drop of glue um, right beside the hole we would be gluing that together for permanent construction. And that one's a little bit needing some pressure to get down in there. And there we have it. We're going to put those in. Now we're going to bring in parts 10 and we're just going to slide those into these parts of the leg and they'll go down you'll notice on the end there's a little notch there that is going to go into the hole once we slide that down and that is supposed to go in there and give it a little lock same thing we're just sliding those in until it locks in. And then the last one. Okay, you get those on. Turn it right side up. And you may want to put a little drop of glue on the ends of those uh, receiving notches and set your ladder up. And there you have it. So, I hope this was helpful. You can find more of my kits on my Facebook page, Great Alaska Wood Kits. Thanks, and enjoy.